looks good so let's go back to 2d wireframe line model so now you want let's check out our 2d you want maybe a hundred by hundred dg beam or 120 by 120 or 125 by 125 depending on which is best so i'll go for 100 by 100 so go to your settings go to member settings let's select this it should fit in or should i go with the 120 okay let me go with the 120 so you want okay i could have chosen this right now but i will explain why so it's best to just explain it to you so we'll go to members just draw a line it's very convenient draw a line draw a line yeah so take note these are the center so let's see the implication conceptual view outline so you can see this is above our desired space so what i'll do is just highlight this hold down your shift no you don't even need to hold down she just click on it highlight it right click go to edit structures then choose point of connection should be at the top okay then um, you can see this does not look too nice so i'm going to have to limit some of these members so what do i do i'll click on cut back member click on it then it's going to ask me to choose the limiting member as the vertical one then this will cut back so we can keep on doing it click the vertical one cut back this um, click the vertical one cut back this click the vertical one cut back this so this looks much more better okay so um, let's check out our drawing um, these are 100 by 100 square pipes so we are going to connect them with the spacing in the drawing um, we have 306 okay 254 254 so i went with the 120 by 120 so this might need to be 259 because of the extra 5 mm so before you do that we can put this i'll click on it match properties put it on the columns layer so we have uniformity so let's go back to 2d wireframe line model go to our member settings choose um, square pipe so let's check for a square pipe square pipes we have two i'll go with the first one so i'm going to go by 100 by 100 um, 6.3 mm thickness because I need something very strong so point of intersection um, between which you have about 120 so um, let's first check it out connecting at the top so I will see maybe I can go down by maybe 6 mm so let's check it out so we'll make use of this if we have to so let's go so um, first thing you draw a line um, two five nine I can just draw this two five nine so um, two five nine you offset by fifty because I should actually work with the center dimensions so I'll click on this and mirror so I can get for the other side it can be a little bit difficult okay it's quite difficult so 
Let me um, I can draw a line fully and give it a try again. Okay. I wonder whether I do not have a particular setting on, but it's all good. You can delete this. Let's just draw it again. Two five nine. Two five nine. Offset by fifty. Okay, so I'll go to my member settings. So from here, I'll draw my my square pack. So it's easy. Do the same thing. Copy paste. So save our work now um, let's check it out in conceptual view outline model so we can see this is entering at the top so it's a pity i don't have the tables for these he beans i'll know the exact depth but i can just guess because i have a little clearance here so let's see going down by 5 mm what it might mean so click on this click on this right click edit structures then for the vertical you add five then, okay so let's see it looks a little bit better but it will go down a little bit more so let's click on it click on it edit structures edit structures um, should I do 60? 60. Let's have a look. Looks good. And there's no. There's a little clash here. So let's do it again. I think I'll just take away 2mm. 2mm should be fine. I did structures 58. So it looks good yeah this is good so let's um, um go ahead i can make a new layer beans maybe give it a blue color so these two i'll put it on the right layer so now let's go back to our line model it's easier to make decisions on that um, go back to 2d wireframe so in between we have um, 306 so to get the center we're talking about 356 so um, Offset this by 100. Offset by 356. Okay. I could also make use of array. You understand? So um, this center to center again. 356. Okay. I think. Um, We'll look at it 356 um, from here to here will be this 50 extra 50 100 406 so let me offset by 406 oh uh, not too bad because this is going to be by 50 name was not to get so much of an accuracy but we could just make use of an array and save ourselves so much stress so I'll just draw from here to here so array a 
this should be from let's take it from here that's the center to the center so offset by 50 be careful you do not select your your square pipe so array path so now um, let's be careful so I'll choose um, method make sure you don't divide then items I'll make it I need maybe four or five so it's too spaced let's say five okay this looks better so I can click enter so this looks better so it's easy for us click on your square pipe position it position it yeah okay we already have one here so let's say it looks um conceptual view line model outline so i think i have a little clash here all right uh, it's not too bad maybe i'll go okay i did this earlier maybe one inch is fair Okay, you must make sure you do not select anything besides your structures. Okay. Just be careful. Edit structures. So let's just go by 59. This should be close to perfect okay so it looks almost good just pardon me so what of the cross members um i think we have two five four and something similar two five four so let's go back to to the wireframe line model so you can get rid of all these excesses get rid of them okay we have something here get rid of it 